Hello, this is Flory White, a makeup artist, and this video is an ode to OG of makeup artistry, Diane Kendall, and her makeup look on Christy Turlington for the Ralph Lauren Spring Summer 2025 show. The makeup was subtle yet striking, and it just looked perfect on Christy Turlington in her 50s. So I've tried to recreate it on me. Skincare and base done, they'll be listed below. And I'm gonna start with the bronzer and I'm trying a new product. So let's see, I'm not sure this is my shade, but I really want to go, ooh, deep brown. Okay, let's not panic, I think that's too much. See, it did look very dark, but I'm actually just gonna blend it in now with my fingers, I've ditched the brush already. And I'm just gonna take the excess and move it up to the forehead. Bear with me. But I think that's why I love creams, because you can just move it around but yeah that was definitely too much but this could be salvaged <laughs> so that was salvaged i did think maybe i had to take it off but now i'm still adding a bit that's left onto the brush to blend it out that's the thing you've got very moisturized skin you can move around the creams bronze salvaged and i'm just going to fill in my brows the brows were quite filled in now i can't wear my glasses for this so i have a magnified mirror from beauty effect which is life-changing and I'm using cool brown and I like to just do shortly. I mean, it's so easy to use this pencil. It's like good old fashioned, proper, I don't know what you call it inside. The pigment is, it's sort of dry, but worked. You don't have to work it too much. And I'm just flicking it in. I'm not really gonna draw it out. And then brushing up. The brushing up also disperses the pigment so you don't have any solid lines. I'm just going to do quite a defined brow. I like it. See, it's not too graphic, but you see the difference there. Strong natural brow, and then I want to brush it up. That's a lot of product in there. But let's apply the product, and then I'm going back to my blink brow. And straighten those all up. So it's a strong yet natural brow. And I like it. I am cutting the red in my waterline with Victoria Beckham Intensify Eye. Could not live it without one of these pencils. And then I'm taking another of my favourites. This is Code 8 Cocoa. Cool. I want the definition around my lash line. So really getting the pencil into the roots doesn't have to be perfect because the light line is not going to be a statement. It's the definition, it's the dark around the eyes. Sometimes I'd be happy just to leave that brown and it does sort of smudge, but I'm enjoying using products. And this was a catwalk look. So I'm going in Victoria Beckham eye pencil in Pekin over. So it's a, a, a gorgeous brown as well. And going over the liner, and then one of these pencils from Westman Atelier. I love these pencils because you can use it for creams and eyeshadows. And I want to blend it out. I'm just blending it out to my socket. Follow your lines of your face. I shall like this brush. These two brushes are like the perfect brushes. If you have two eye pencils, eye brushes, these are the ones. And I just want to take it into the little socket i've got quite a baggy socket you can see the skin hangs down but that's it and i just want to blend it out see the difference mm. hello okay, and what i also might do um is i go to scribble a bit of pecan onto the back of my hand and then using a very fine brush this is a brush from surat i mean if you're going to invest in brushes Surat Westman Telly favourites. And I just want to do a soft little line, not even a line, a soft shadow in the lower lash line. I'm sort of holding the brush flat against the skin so it can really reach into the roots. So the, the excess that I have in my hand, I don't want to waste, so I'm just rubbing the brush in. And I'm sort of looking at that so you, you're sort of stretching your skin and just brushing outwards. And so the skin is more taut, and just using that excess. 
and blurring it out. I've curled my lashes and I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. I don't want it to be lashy. I am just coating the brows, not the brows, the lashes. I rarely put it in my lower lashes, but I just want to bounce it into the roots. And again, it is just definition framing the eye. And it all looks very sort of a bit scary when you close up, but let me just finish this. But I love it like this. <laughs> And then I want to add a little bit of like a warm flush. I've been using this shade by Ilia for a while. I can't see any of the names without my glasses and I'm not gonna put them on. Um, but I will tag everything down below. And apples on the cheeks, silly face. So apples, I do it, I want this bit covered as well. And so then, so you've got from the bronze, you've got a bit of contour and winter sun and then a little bit of cheek. And that also might seem quite strong, but I'm gonna add the lip, because I've got no lip, it seems strong, so I'm gonna balance it out. Lip liner, nude, Jones Road. I'm not going over the lip line, but using every little bit of the different skin texture, like this, the mouth skin texture. And then this is my favorite Refi wine. I like to blur it off. Sometimes I add that onto my cheeks, but they probably had enough. And then I'm gonna add a highlight. And a new highlight, liquid light from Ilia. One little squirt back of my hand and I'm just gonna apply it. I'll just do this side with my fingers. I like the warmth of the body temperature. And without adding extra product, I'm just sort of blending it in and doing a little bit. It was a beautiful, shiny skin. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. It won't show that in the daylight. I was just rubbing off the excess highlighter. And I'm just going to put it in the inner corner of the eye. So it's basically, I played with shadow and light. 